my pregnancy was going good all until I called the doctor's office and told her that it was something going on and she wanted to see me in the office because I was at high risk carrying twins. It's too early. I ain't ready. I wasn't never expecting to go straight in labor in five months. I just kept praying and kept on having faith. I was 21 weeks in one day when I gave birth to my set of twins. And I was praying that they was, you know, going, you know, end up stopping my contractions, but they couldn't stop them at that time. I do have two other kids, and they was full time. I didn't know was my twins going to live or pass away. So it was like so many mixed emotions. Curtis came out first. He was 15 ounces, 11 inches long. Asia, she came out second. She was 14 ounces, 10 inches long. The doctors was telling me that they had 0% chance of survival. Asia, she ended up having air pockets in her lungs. And I was praying to myself, asking the Lord, what did he want me to do? He came to me in the room and told me, if you give me Asia, I'll let you keep Curtis. And I gave him Asia. He let me keep Curtis, and he a year old now. Curtis was four weeks when I was able to hold, do the kangaroo. I was very surprised and shocked. Like, Y'all really about to let me hold this tiny baby on my chest? And they said, yes, ma'am. He had bad days where I thought, you know, he would have passed. He stayed in the hospital nine months, and he was able to come home April the 6th, a day after he turned nine months. The doctors and the nurses, I love them. They helped me learn how to take care of a premature baby. He is underweight, and they wanted him to receive more calories. I do on-demand feeds with him every three hours. He do suffer from hypertension. He on medication for that. He's on oxygen, antibiotics, and steroids. Like when we sleep, I check and make sure I hear him breathing. Just make sure he's safe. I feel good that the Lord work in mysterious ways and he let Curtis live to make sure it's like the little smaller things are, you know, having their accomplishments too. Curtis loves a cell phone. He loves to be on FaceTime. Just about two months ago, he had just started crawling. He's actually, you know, pulling up on things now. His goals that he's trying to accomplish, he doing it on his time. He's not no crybaby. He's a happy baby. Every time he go to sleep or wake up, he always smiling, talking. You don't never see a bad day in him. See, Asia and Curtis, all I do is just tell them, like, you know, you got a twin. She passed. That's your angel. Every day is a good day. Like, you know, you got to keep on praying. I got to keep on having faith. Don't never give up.